Hi, my name is Michael Wexler, Professor of Medicine and Director of the Asthma Program at National Jewish Health in Denver. And today I'm going to talk about the use of mepolizumab in eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis. The current treatment strategy for eGPA is use of systemic corticosteroids. And in those patients who don't tolerate systemic corticosteroids or who continue to have relapses despite corticosteroids or were unable to get into remission on corticosteroids, we need to add on other therapies. One of the novel asthma treatment strategies is use of anti-IL-5 therapies with either mepolizumab or reslizumab to try to ablate eosinophils and improve asthma outcomes. And that's been shown time and again over the last few years, and those two medications were approved for the management of eosinophilic asthma. The primary outcomes for this study were accrued weeks of remission out to 52 weeks, and the co-primary endpoint was the proportion of patients who achieved remission at both weeks 36 and 48. There was a significantly greater portion of patients in the mepolizumab arm who ended up achieving remission in terms of the number of weeks, but also in terms of the proportion of patients who were in remission at weeks 36 and 48. In addition, one of the most important outcomes for these patients is the rate of exacerbations or relapses. Mepolizumab treated patients ended up having a 50% reduction in the frequency of eGPA exacerbations. One of the most important outcomes for patients is reduction in corticosteroid dosing. Patients treated with mepolizumab ended up having an over 50% reduction in corticosteroid dosing. In fact, while only 3% of patients were able to come off of corticosteroids in the placebo arm, almost 20% of patients in the mepolizumab-treated arm were able to come off of steroids completely. Mepolizumab-treated patients ended up having significant improvements in terms of lung function, right. asthma control questionnaire scores, <coughs> sinonasal uh, testing scores, and other outcomes. All in all, we found that mepolizumab significantly improved outcomes in patients with eGPA. This is a rare disease with significant unmet need and patients oftentimes are looking to reduce corticosteroids to minimize exacerbations and mepolizumab seems to have done that for a large proportion of these patients. It didn't work in everybody and we believe that's because the outcome that we looked at doesn't necessarily reflect the underlying disease. All in all, we view this study as a significant success and a significant uh, benefit for our patients with eGPA and hopefully will lead to better outcomes in the future for these patients.